questions for the university. Yeah, what a great game. What a great environment. Um, you know, that was it was a it was a lot of fun when you're in the moment, obviously frustrating towards the end. Um, but I'm really, really proud of this team and um, just how hard they fought. They could have easily thrown in the towel when they were down 13-0. They could have said, you know what, this is too hard. We don't want to fight back. But that's not that's not their makeup at all. Um, they've been fighters all year long and have overcome and become a really good basketball team. And I'm really proud of just how tight they are, the chemistry that they have. And um, it's just, you know, obviously – it's always disappointing when you lose lose your last game, but could not ask for more of a effort and fight. Go here and then we'll go to back. Obviously, Scott had a great game. Those things can go two ways when a kid goes yeah. home. You know, can you talk about her game a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the, the commentator uh, for the t for TV asked me the same thing before the game and said, you know it can go two ways when they come back home and play. And I told him then, I said, Brie will rise to the occasion because um, the bigger the stage for Brie, the, the better her performance is. Um, she was super excited about coming back to Arkansas to play. She had, I think, over 100 people here watching her. And uh, she just had to had to score in a variety of ways, and she does that for us. I mean, her, her output was her production, her line, her stat line is really, really good. Um, just the percentage and the efficiency that she that she scored with, um, and and even some of the defensive things that she does for us is fantastic. We're going to miss her a lot, but she has certainly cemented her name in our record books and in our uh, in our program. Now, Brynn, for you specifically, such a unique situation playing for your mom. What was it like to see her at home and then see her at practice and kind of walk us through? Not everyone gets to experience that. Um. Yeah. Uh. Mm hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, this has been one of the hardest things I've ever done, but also one of the most rewarding. Um, we've really, um, I think, both just we've gotten so close over the past three years because of everything we've been through, because of what we've done. And um, I'm just uh, really thankful for it. And I just don't think a lot of people understand uh just the dynamic <laughs> and um I'm just really thankful I don't know how to say it. I'm thankful for our community for ex um loving us and accepting us and for just being our biggest fans and um I'm just thankful she let me come along for the ride coach girl like what was it like to go not only through the transition of being a transfer but you know you've played for her before what was it like to be a red raider for her um, it was great. You know, um, coach Gurley, uh, she's like my second mother. Mm -hmm. Um, yesterday we were actually talking about our biggest influences and mine's Krista Gurley. So mm -hmm. I'll love her to death. To, um, see all your players develop this season and Bailey Maupin coming in and man, is she even a freshman? She's amazing. But also with Bree Scott and her family being here, what was it like to see everything kind of come together and to have your your last yeah, name with your the senior. last probably the last um three weeks have been magical for us um it's been definitely a a turning point in our program um you know what what I try to do as a as a coach and a leader of these young women is not just put a basketball team on the on the floor we try to put a family and we try to put sisters and we try to put um a group together that that will go to bat for one another um long after the ball starts stops bouncing and that's what we saw start happening um even when we were in this game it was kind of um symbolic of how our season has gone um you know i mean sometimes we would jump out and and be behind by 13 and and i think early in our season we had to learn how to fight through that adversity and how to how to stay together and keep doing what we do and 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 not fall apart. And I thought that that's exactly what we did tonight. And and even some of the adversity that we went through during conference and at the end of conference, um, this this team is just stuck together, and they love each other so much. And it's important that they that that's what they have received out of our program because that's what we're building is we're building a program. We're not building a team for one season. And uh, that's 
that's what it's just been. It's been amazing to have Kat come back and to play her fifth year with us again. That's something I never thought was would happen. Such a blessing. Um, amazing to see Brie Amber come full circle and be able to come back to Arkansas and play in front of all her friends and families after all the things that she's been through. And, and the moments we've been through with her. I mean, you talk about some challenges that, that we've all gone through with her and, uh, and she, man, is playing some of her very best basketball and she's going to get to continue to play. I, I truly believe that at a really high level, um, you know, and, and then Bryn, um, being able to just go along on this ride with me and, um, and for her, I mean, for her to be able to be a lady Raider, it's, that's such a huge influence on my life as a player, um, being able to come back and lead this program and for my own daughter to be able to say she's a lady Raider and for her to put her own footprint on this program is just something that I never, ever dreamt of even myself. So, um, lots to be grateful for. And I certainly am and gracious to the good Lord up above for giving us all these opportunities and for linking us and putting these people in my life. So how does this set a foundation for what you want to build and how do you build off of this with, you know, a young court like by Ashley Bailey, Tava and some of the young players? Yeah. Well, first of all, I mean, just playing in this environment um, in March, deep in March in a tournament um, where you're playing to stay alive. Um, that's, that experience is huge for us and is huge for our young kids to, to be able to battle through and to understand how they can't, how they have to stay together. And they, they need to understand what this feeling feels like. Um, because obviously we want to get in the, in the big dance and, and be able to, you know, play for a national championship. And, um, I think that these kids have learned so much this year. And I think our, even our, our fan base, um, is supporting what we're doing and understanding what we're trying to build back to. And uh, it's just been an incredible ride. And, and it's just the beginning, to be quite honest. It's just the beginning of what we're going to do at Texas Tech. I see, I mean, you mentioned it quite a bit. It feels kind of like the 90s. You had so many people here. How about the crowd tonight that y'all had and, and, and the amount of people that showed up? I know the high riders. Yeah. Yeah, it was just incredible. I mean, that's what, and so many people wanted to come that couldn't, you know, that just couldn't in that quick turnaround get out here. But um, it was incredible to have that that big of a crowd for them to be so vocal. Um, shout out to our high riders. They they drove 10 hours, left this morning to get here for us and uh, just love that group of girls and that, that spirit organization. Um, the families that drove and and it, it was expensive to get out here to, to even fly. And so um, I'm just so proud of Lady Raider Nation. I'm so proud of the people that um, messaged us and told us that they were going to be watching and yelling and pulling for us and hoping that we were going to get to return back home um, to play another round at maybe in front of our home crowd. But uh, I'm just super, super proud to be a Red Raider. Thank you, guys.